Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. So today I have one of the new units from Outre's Melted Hairline series, and the name of this unit is Natalia. I have Natalia in the cinnamon wine color. So Natalia does come with your two combs here in the front, a comb in the back, an adjustable strap, and it does come with an elastic band. The parting space on here goes back about five inches and it is a set part. So it's not like a frontal where you're able to switch the parting space um, different ways. You would have to literally shift the wig. But the main feature of this wig is the melted hairline. And that's something that's really hot in the streets right now. We have like HD transparent lace, the Swiss lace, the invisible lace, all these different types of laces. And companies that make synthetic wigs as well are trying to hop on the bandwagon and give us similar quality lace that you would find on a human hair wig. Now I did review Catalina. I will definitely link the review for her in the description box down below. And it'll be up here. I didn't show you how I put this wig on in this video, but I definitely showed you in the Catalina video. So if you'd like to see how I put this wig on with this hairline, check out that video after this video. Let me give you a quick 360 of this unit. All right, y'all, so let's just dive into the pros of Natalia. Now, the first pro to this unit, and I assume it will be for the rest of the series because I still have to review Aaliyah, it's definitely this melted hairline. You can see, you know, how it's melting on the sides here. And I think I did a pretty good job. I did notice that this lace is different from Catalina. Catalina was more of like an olive green colored lace. This was more of a light brown. Definitely much more brown skin girl friendly if you're comparing to the new Bobby Boss wigs that have the HD lace that lace was like white but i will say that hd lace is a bit thinner than this lace and that's something i'm realizing as i try these wigs so you know to each his own so i do like the way the hairline is melting i also like this comfort fit ear contour that they have over here and they say you're able to pull this behind your ear and look very natural and yeah if i pull this behind my ear it looks natural um this lace right here is showing but i can easily cover that up like i can just take a pencil and you know dab at that do, 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 do. to cover that up some it's up to you but i think that is a nice effect if you like to put hair behind your ear i don't so let's take that out <laughs> as far as the cap size if you're using the elastic band, it definitely fits tightly. It might fit tightly to the point where it's not big head friendly. I did notice when I, you know, pulled the elastic band up and did not use it, this unit fit a lot more loosely on my head. So if you have a larger head, you might just wanna just cut out the elastic band because it might be too uncomfortable for you if you have like a 23 inch or larger head. Another pro to this unit is the color. I think this is a very nice burgundy color. So if you are a fan of like a deep red kind of hair, you would love the color on this unit because it's a true burgundy color. I think it looks really nice against all complexions, but especially if you are a deeper complexion and you know, let's say you normally like to stick to one B's or number twos, try a burgundy color because this looks really good on our skin. Another pro is the parting space. I think it's very nice. It's very deep it doesn't require any type of plucking neither does the hairline you can go in and pluck the hairline if you like it's a matter of preference but i don't think it's necessary i just love how flat it's laying in the front here like that they are really doing it this whole melted hairline it looks really good now mind you Outre isn't the first to do this. Zuri Sis, their Beyond Synthetic series, I think that's the one. Their hairlines were given this whole frontal effect for a minute. When I tried Zuri Sis Glory, y'all, the way that hairline was laying, and it's not a frontal, it's a, a preset part, my god. I, I love that unit. It didn't last too long because the texture was definitely more on the silky side, but just the effect that it gave without paying a frontal price, I was really appreciative of it. So I'm glad that Outre is hopping on, you know, the Zerius's bandwagon with these, you know, frontal effect hairlines. I think it's so nice that I can pay, you know, less than $40 for a unit like this instead of paying, you know, 50 plus dollars just to have like this whole frontal effect. Now let's dive into the cons of this unit because I do have a few. First, let's talk about the style, y'all. Now on camera, 
And when you see my picture on Instagram, it's gonna look poppin'. I think a lot of people will like this style. But I do have a few qualms with how they did the curls here. You see how this curl is, right? Like, this is pretty. These loose, very loose barrel curls. But then, back here, it just, it just kind of falls flat. And I just wish they kept this type of curl throughout the entire unit. And I noticed on the opposite side, too. It's like, when the curls start going every which way, that really, really turns me off. I mean, I'm looking at myself, and I feel like, yeah, this right here is giving me life. But when I go like this, and I see just... I don't know, it just looks kind of drab and I wish they styled this a little bit differently. Like maybe they got lazy with the machine with this wig, I don't know, but yeah. And then you see how this bumped end is right here. I kind of would probably just relax that a little bit with a flat iron. I really wanna love the style, but I just feel like they weren't consistent with the curls. Now another big con for me with this unit is the texture. If you follow me, you know how much texture is important to me, and you also know that I prefer a more yakky texture. This is definitely on the silky side. I don't like silky textured wigs, uh, silky synthetic wigs. I think they can be a headache, they tangle super easily, they don't last at all. As pretty as this unit is looking on me right now, I just, when I touch it, I'm just like, okay, it's it's synthetic wig. You know, it's not giving me the human hair feel that Catalina was giving me. Like Catalina felt a little bit more, a little bit more natural. Whereas Natalia is low-key giving me Janet Collection moon vibes. I did a review on that a long time ago and I hated that freaking wig. That was like Barbie doll hair. This isn't Barbie doll hair, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just, it, to me, it's very synthetic-like versus being human hair-like. Um, and I get it, it's a, it's a synthetic wig, but you know, more and more companies like Altre are coming up with wigs that feel super natural to the touch. And especially at their, after their Nisha Soft and Natural drop, you know, to have a collection like this where it's more silky and a little bit more shiny, that's a little disappointing to me. So. I'm not impressed with the texture at all. Catalina was a little bit better, but even Catalina could have been a little bit more yakky for me too. I do have Aaliyah, and honestly, I'm not really looking forward to Aaliyah because that also looks and kind of feels silkier than my liking. So we'll see. Again, it's preference. If you like silky wigs and you don't mind it being silky on a synthetic wig, then you're, about, you're not gonna have a problem with this unit. But for me personally, it's just, I wouldn't pick this up again. And that's because of the texture alone. And also due to the texture, I'm getting tangling immediately. You can tell that these ends are gonna get ratty really fast. Overall, my assessment of this wig is this. I think Natalia, when I saw her on the stock card, I was like, damn, okay. This is, this is poppin', I like this style. And also knowing that I like the melted hairline on Catalina, I was really feeling her. But I just feel like there's some potential that's not being reached with this wig, with this texture, and the style. The texture and the style is just falling short for me, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments down below, whether you agree or disagree. But y'all know me. I'm here to keep it true, and Natalia is just all right to me, but I really want to like her. I really want to like her more. Damn, Altre, like, she looks cute, but she's just not giving me that, like, ugh, factor. This is in a, okay, run out and get Natalia now. And because it's in this burgundy color, I think certain things are more noticeable. I think like with the curl pattern being off to me, that's more noticeable because it's in the color. Maybe in a 1B, it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, y'all let me know what you think. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts on Natalia. Have you gotten any of the Outre Melted Hairline wigs at all? How do you feel about Natalia on me? How do you feel about this color on my skin tone? Do you like burgundy? Or do you prefer other different colors like blondes or brighter reds or something like that? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. I do think Outre did a great job with this melted hairline and this frontal effect, but I can take or leave it with this style. And if you are new to my channel, you like what you see, 
click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Y'all, we are on the road to 10K and I'm so stoked. I'm so excited. I love everyone that's been joining the family. Hit me up on Instagram as well because I'm very active on there. I am Is That Your Hair with three R's at the end, just like my YouTube name. And if you wanna see some of my recent videos, make sure you check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Treat me like a lady when you open doors and doors But then you want a friend when you're with your boys, your boys How you gonna play me when I put your clothes, your clothes The ones that you be wearing when you